I'm Kia and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial for editing interface so basically this is a quick review also a quick tutorial for the beginner so basically what you have to do is that if you're already in the group make sure to join it up and I'll put on the description below so the next thing you have to know is that you have to read the status of the button here so there's three things that have been pinned down here first thing you have to get the vmp2 ogt file and then code tool and uso5 so make sure to download it via mega here anyway other thing is that you can refer a lot of things here it's very informative and then very reference a lot of reference and sources here about this either the hexing also you can go with the otj client editing so also you can go with mbnd editing if you want to go more much further anyway first thing first um, as for the tutorial purpose make sure you have to get these two either two of this for xing tool x edit or you're going to go with nexus uh, another thing is that we are going to go with the outcome here learning outcome for the learning outcome here we're going to go with editing auto emulator or auto channel interface and then we're going to go with the hexing transparency and also I will show you a quick review function of those three files. So basically, BMP2 OGT is to create OGS file and OGT file, and then got tool for reposition or even the exporting and extracting stuff, also editing item stuff, and so on. And then the YESO file is for create new OPA or OP file. Alright, so for the tutorial purpose. Make sure you to get the empty blue PSD file since I'm going to go editing the playing interface for auto emulator. Alright, let's back with the tool here and then just go open the code tool file. So make sure you go run it and then you just go open your interface file here using the using this code tool and just go to playing one OP or you can go with this other thing or file OP file so anyway you just go with this for the tutorial purpose I'm going to show you this one and yes another quick thing I'm going to show is that I'm going to extract this by using this export make sure you right click your export image package so basically another thing is that I'm going to quick refer you here is that if you realize it's frame 5 so basically it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so remember it's more like a binary concept so yes, it's starting from 0 as 1 so you can go check here this is what we extracted before just now so okay, we're going to go with the background I'm going to show a quick use of it so what I'm going to use here is that I'm going to use background 1 and background 10 here um, so another thing is that you remember is that this is the position of this x is x so basically it's here point here to change it there um, yes uh, another thing is that if you realize yes I'm going to tell you again frame 1 frame 0 so it's basically 1 okay um, let's go with the PSD file just now make sure you open it up empty blue PSD download it I'm going to put it down to the description below so when you have this one you but technically you can just create it and I'm going to use this background instead um, it tell me about this uh, anyway this is my all interface background collection before so anyway I'm going to put it down here I guess so make sure you have to save it save it as I'm going to put on the folder here I already created uh, and then just MP here okay first thing first you have to remember to put the initial name for it and then you put the 0 S1 I'm going to tell you why but for the first time here we're going to save it like this first um, just go with the system it's, it's the standard color for the interface that usually been used the color for the auto gem using it and another thing is that I for the trailer purpose let's just create another file here at 100 c 100 I'm going to show you a quick way without create any other thing or even change the position this is a lazy way I suppose uh, it's not really quite a lot of things to do but basically this mostly what we've been doing 
usually photos fully use with this thing so anyway as for this one i'm going to go get the trans color so basically this transparency color you can refer it from here you can just put it down here i already i already put it down a little bit here just further here so for hexing you can go check this i'm going to use this one instead i've already used with this so basically i'm going to go with this one first and yes I'm going to put it like this just a quick way and just put from the sky area take nice color or something i'm not sure yeah i really like this one <laughs> um all right let's just save it this is for the true purpose i'm going to use it later on but yes wait, let's just name it another thing new zero for instance all right and let's save it something bit oh yeah another thing is to make sure you're using eggbit channel because without eggbit channel you cannot save it so basically if you already have the adobe make sure you put it on the, the psd file there okay let's go open up the folder just now for that tree the new background i tried all right from here i'm going to show how to use the mp file just copy it copy it and then pass it down here so i'm going to show you how to use it just run it first here you see the initial name you just put it down here bg and then you put one for one frame and then you put it here like this unless if you make quite a lot of frame here you just change it 12 for instance uh, mostly there's quite a lot of limit for it so what i know is that mostly it's 12 for instance. so right let's just, just go with this save it first all right now you create it uh, let's just create this one here Just rename it, I think it's called playing VG1. Oh, don't forget to change this one. OGS. And then change this one here. VG10. Oh, I almost forgot. Hmm. Pardon me. Anyway, I will show how to hex it later on, but first thing first, we're going to go with this. So make sure not to open this while you're going to edit the image file because we are going to go with yes fire this time. Just open it, run it. So basically yes fire you can create the one or you can load it and edit it. So basically you have to open back the interface file here. I'm going to copy this directory and quickly go here and just select this playing interface and I'm going to remove this one I'm not going to change this first I'm going to demonstrate a little bit something but first thing first you have to delete it and then you add up for that file we already create and let's go with this one playing bg1 open it up and save it close it open the code tool back run it and just opening back the image file just now you know the concept here so as what you can see um there's a little bit problem here if you realize quite different right um so basically you have to position it first so you just go with this and change it yeah and you have to save it Okay, that's basically how you want to change the interface if you're using the default interface that you usually they use here. Um, okay, let's go with next step. Alright, this one, I'm not going to hack it first, but I will use it, put it down here so that you can see why we need to hack it. Um, the image file here, you can go back here. And then open it up. Um, remove the background tan just now. Is it? Yes, background tan. Mm -hmm. Alright, you have to delete it first. Add it up as usual. You just go back here. You know, the best way is that you organize things 
so that you can use this easily much more faster than this uh, for texture purpose I don't care really much but yeah I try my best to make it fast just so yeah you just have to save it open the gold tool file and you have to check that file back I'm going to show why is a problem this one right and look at this Basically, even though it looks like okay here, but when you're in game, you have problem showing like this. So basically, you have to to hex it. So the first thing is that I'm not going to show you yet. But as what you can see, it's already on the right position as the other one. Anyway, it's usually have problem with it in game but I'm not sure how it's suddenly like this maybe it's working or something but not really sure about it um, anyway I'm going to go with this I'm, I don't even hex it yet so we're going to hex it as precaution anyway that's another reason why you have to hex it anyway so the quick way I'm going to show here is that you go to offset 0 0 0 0 and something like this 0 6 0 7 if you realize F 5s70 here, you just put it here. Alright, um, oops, sorry. I keep the time down wrong. Alright, you just have to save it. And you do the same thing again. Here's a pie. Load it up back. Um, I always forgot this one. It's quite complicated to use this. I think I should change it next time, but never mind. This is for quick texture purpose, but not really so quick. At least it's quite quick reference, I guess. Um, I like this music, you know. <laughs> but never mind, let's just go with this. MBG 10 and save it. Make sure to hex it. You may try it and run it without hexing it. But usually it's not will be something weird to happen. You will see it the pink color is that. Um anyway, let's just close it, open it up, and then you just check it back. Uh yes, another thing I almost forgot. I'm going to show you about the block of frame just now, but anyway, that's what you know I already hacked it down. So basically there's no problem with it any longer, I guess. Um okay, another thing is that we're going to recompile this one back because uh, from here I'm going to put it change back I guess uh, anyway I'm going to show you how it's work for the mp 2 gt to make another frame of it so basically if you already have this one you just have to run it back um, yeah don't forget to name it first so I'm going to change this frame 0, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, and frame 4. So this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So you just have to put this one down and show it frame 5, 5. Uh, the MP file and the OGD. Hmm, right. Let's just rename it back. Okay, I'm going to show you another thing is that this is 5 frame. So basically, you're going to check the size here 501, maybe for instance. But I'm going to create another one, but only one frame. So you're going to compare it. You check it down here so this way you know there's a lot of image here instead of this one. So that's how basically you have to do. So basically, you have to go repeat this stuff. The mp 2 AGD, go to the supply, also, you go to hexing it. So, anyway, for more information for hexing, you can go check it down below. I will put it in the description below too. Also, the if you need anything you have to you can contact me and another thing is that you also can check this one it's pretty interesting you can check it 
the okay structure and how I got it. So anyway, for any information or want to connect more, it's my check me on Facebook here. Or comment down below and subscribe now and thumbs up if you like this. Um yes, thanks for watching. I see you next time. See ya. Bye. Stay awesome.